What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can sign up the button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Pisces. This resonates with Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hinder, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,340 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my heart chakra, I do, I do, I do. do. I received a channel message as I was meditating on your energy for mid-July of 2022. Uh, for some, it could start resonating now. Some mid-July, some past July. There's 7 point some, some billion people in the world, tons of Pisces. So if you have to plug the particular message or messages into your own life situation, however they resonate, if they apply for you, Pisces. One may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages in to your own particular situation, however they resonate, okay? Uh, if everybody could please think of me, I have a court date, very significant court date on 7-15 to 2022 uh, between my ex-husband. Uh, it's a court, child custody court battle on a uh, date on 7-15 to 2022. This is not the first rodeo with me and my ex-husband. It's actually more like court battle number five, if not six or seven. It's a very long history of court battles with him. Um, and that's just the truth. The first couple were child support adjustments back when his wife, which is, a, she's a RN now, but she wasn't an RN back then. Um, it was the, um, child support adjustments when I became an RN because I was an RN before her, um, which I understood those. But then after that, um, he, it's been, he, the last one, for example, he accused me of child abuse. That was the last one just a couple years ago. And then the one before that, about four years ago or so, it was about four, was it about four years ago? No, it was about six years ago. I'm sorry, about six years ago, because um, I was dating my uh, boyfriend at the time about six years ago. Spirit messages you have signed up Pisces. He um, was trying to prove that I was contempt of court because I wasn't following the court papers and swore up and down there was a man living in my house, which was my boyfriend. He claimed that my boyfriend lived in the house with me in the rented house that I rented out in the country before I moved and bought a house in the city because I've been here five years in the city. Um, and um, he had my daughter, bought my daughter a phone strategically at that time and manipulated my daughter to take photos of my ex-boyfriend or my boyfriend at the time's belongings that I put in a drawer for him in my rented house uh, about six years ago. And his toothbrush and toothpaste and belongings and things like that. So when he would come over, because he lived about 45 minutes ago, uh, 45 minutes from us in Madison, uh, so he could shower and things like that, to prove uh, with the photos that the man was living in the house with us. But he didn't. He didn't live in the house with us. But he was trying to get me for contempt of court with the evidence of the photos. And he also had her do a streaming device. Spirit messages you have on Pisces. He also had her do a streaming device. I think it was Google Duo on the phone. And had her walk around with the video camera on, with him on it, around the house to see who was in the house when that court battle was going on. That was two court battles ago, about six years ago. That was the one before, uh, I'm sorry, before the child abuse one, and then this one. So just a little history of what I've had to deal with with this man. Um, it, it's not pretty, and that's just the truth. So um, if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts, prayers, and well wishes, whatever you do, whether it's spiritual, spiritual, and religious, or what have you, what have you, thoughts, meditation, prayers, whatever you do, no judgments on religion here, or any judgments, period, unless you're a thief or a pedophile. Um, I very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Spirit messages you have for sign of Pisces. Um, also, um, just to let everybody know why I'm shuffling out, I have plans after this. My first plan is to win my custody of my kids back, because we're currently under the McClendon standard right now. 
On 715 and 2022, plan two is to renovate my home and rent it out. And plan three is to move out of this state, this crazy state. And that's just the truth. So just to let everybody know. Okay. Spirit messages you have for faces. Okay, so yeah, so let me tell you the channel message that I received as I was meditating on your energy. Um, the first, uh, the actually I only received one so far. So the channel message I received was a significant illness of a Pisces mother, a Pisces sister, and a Pisces brother is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. That's what I heard. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, um, whoever that's for. A significant illness of a Pisces mother, brother, and sister is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. So you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates, Pisces. Um, it could be your mother, your brother, or your sister, or another Pisces mother, brother, or sister um, that's connected to you. You plug it in, how it resonates, um, however that resonates and applies, okay? We have deer, hummingbird, the thinking man, milk. Mountain Road, you are on the road to success, basket recognition, reward for merit, vote, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Number 46 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 46, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 46. Um, also, um, you have earth sign and air sign energy. Um, you could be dealing with earth sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo or Aries Leo, I'm um, not Aries Leo Sag, I'm sorry, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Heaven, or Jupiter charts, if you are Pisces. Dear. A cancer that recently has found a hidden camera in their home, Cancer Feminine, is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. For some, you're a lawyer. For some, you are a karmic that helped implant it in there. You're about to ever regret help, helping implant it in there. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, um, a cancer fan that has recently found a hidden camera in her home. Heard it's about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. For one, you're a lawyer. And for one, you are um, a karmic that helped implant it in there. I heard you're about to ever regret helping implant it in there. So, um, for one, you're the lawyer. For one, you're the karmic. So, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. I feel like deer and headlights energy for the karmic energy. Heard you're about to ever regret and helping basically set this cancer fem up to implant a hidden camera in her home. It sounds like she has recently found it. Um, so I feel like deer and headlights energy here for the karmic. Um, I think you're about to get legal action filed on your butt. Um, I hope you do. And I'm just being for real, for real. Um, that's very low vibrational karmic energy if I've ever heard it. And that's just the truth. But for one, you're the lawyer. So um, I think you're going to take swift action and help this cancer fam, or at least I hope you do, sir or ma'am. Um, you could be a sir or ma'am, lawyer, whoever you are, Pisces lawyer. Let me see if I hear anything else. And a gentle touch is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. Masculine Pisces to uh, feminine energy date. And a gentle touch is about to become very significant in Pisces life. A masculine Pisces to a uh, new femme. New femme energy a date. So it's a new femme energy to you and you're going to ask her out on a date and you're going to use a gentle touch technique um, when asking her out. And that's really, nobody likes controlling, domineering, domineeringism. Um, if anybody needs to hear that, nobody does. Gentle touch is always a good thing because if if you end up marrying her, Pisces masculine, there are things called divorce if you start abusing her. So um, you always want to use a gentle touch if you really care about her. 
because if you don't, there's that's called narcissism. And there are things called divorces. So absolutely gentle touch energy. Absolutely. That's definitely the way to go, in my opinion. But you plug it in how it resonates, sir. Um, I feel you're coming off as the dear energy. I don't feel you mean harm or ill will towards her. I feel you truly do want to ask her out on a date. And I think you do, do care about her or you want to get to know her or something of that nature. You're coming off as a dear energy. So gentle touch, dear. Hopefully this isn't like masking gentle touch and then rah, but i don't feel it is i don't feel it is um you plug it in how it resonates sir hummingbird younger pisces masculine 35 and below younger pisces masculine 35 and below so the sir you are 35 or below about to ask this um fem energy out on a date um Kudos to you, sir. Hummingbird. A business flourishing is about to become a talk of the town. And it's about to flourish very, very, very quickly. And a business that everybody thought was going to make it, a very new business in town, is about to tank. It's about to become the talk of the town. For one, it's a food truck. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So talk of the town business energy. Um, I feel that's the hummingbird. Talk of the town. Buzz, 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 buzz. Everybody's talking about it. Uh, there's at least two businesses. For one, it's a psychic, psychic business. For one, it's a psychic, psychic business. So for one, it's a food truck, and for one, it's a psychic business. So we have two businesses that are about to be, uh, there are talks of the town or about to be. A psychic business and a um, food truck or food trucks. Um, one, I heard, is a new business, and one is not a new business. The one that is a new business, I heard, is about to tank. Everybody thought the new business would make it, and it's just about to tank into the ground. And it's about to shock the crap out of everybody. And for the one, it sounds like the other one, now, whichever one it is, the food truck or the psychic business, um, the one that's been around, a, it sounds like a minute or a hot minute, uh, whichever one it is, the food truck or the psychic business, you have to plug it in in your own particular life and situation, how it resonates. Um, I heard that one's about to flourish and flourish not, uh, nicely and that's about to shock the hell out of everybody so two shocking businesses one very new one that's been around for a minute one's about to basically take off and one is about to tank into the ground and that's the new one so you plug it in how it resonates confirmation for my fat boy come on baby but um but that's the buzz 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 around the town um hummingbirds are very flashy they get out there they um they talk 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 i feel this is like gossipy gale or gossipy gary energy about these businesses you plug it in how it resonates the thinking man A Pisces masculine is about to have a lot to think about. For some, retirement. For some, an injury. For some, vacationing. Okay, I heard a Pisces masculine is about to have a lot to think about. Some retirement early, some an injury, and some um, vacation. So, heavy pensive energy here. Really contemplating, pensive energy, you're a Pisces masculine. You get a Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, uh, north, node, and Hamish of your charts. For some, retiring early. For some, some kind of injury you've either already incurred or you're about to incur. Or um, or somebody else has incurred or uh, is about to incur, how that resonates. And um, vacationing. 
So uh, where you want a vacation or how long you want a vacation or what have you, what have you. Heavy pensive energy, you're a Pisces masculine if that resonates for you. And a Pisces masculine is about to make huge career moves and travel, move and travel out of state soon to better his career and his life. And a Pisces masculine is about to make huge career moves. I uh, heard move and travel out of state soon to better his career and his life. Well, you go with your bad self, sir. So you're contemplating where you want to move or cost of living maybe in the areas or job, per prospective job offers or what have you, what have you. You're really thinking um, pensive contemplative energy here, sir, on um, moving. Um, I heard out of state. So out of whatever state you're in, um, you have to plug that in, how it resonates, okay? I heard to be better your career and your life, and absolutely, that's what I'm about to do, too. So I don't blame you, sir, whoever you are. Milk? Children, 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 heavy children energy for some Pisces, for some pregnancy, heavy pregnancy. For one, you're pregnant with triplets and you're about to find out you are. I've been picking that up in several signs. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for some of you guys, you're surrounded by a lot of children. So heavy children energy. I think of like baby's milk, infant formula, um, is what I feel here, but I heard children, so I feel they're probably school age or primary age or maybe teenagers for some of you guys, but um, mother's milk, I think a mother's milk here, um, it doesn't have to be your children, it could be somebody you're connected to's children, but heavy children energy around you, children energy for some, it could be your children or somebody you're connected to's children, for some it could be your grandchildren possibly, you plug it in how it resonates, but for some you're pregnant, so pregnant with child or maybe children for some. And for one, you're pregnant with triplets and you don't know you are and you're about to find out you are. And I picked that one up in several signs. So you plug it in how it resonates. Breast milk, infant milk, formula, milk of a mother, uh, children energy, infant energy, gestating in the womb energy. You plug it in how it resonates. Mountain Road, you were on the road to success. A mentor that wasn't really a mentor is about to become very significant in Pisces life. For some, you were, were that mentor. For some, it was someone that was supposed to be your mentor. Okay, I heard a mentor that really wasn't a mentor. Is about to become very significant in Pisces life. For some, you were that mentor that was supposed to be somebody's mentor, but basically you wasn't. Um, and that is gonna gonna become significant. I can't speak. That's gonna become significant in your life. So you were supposed to be somebody's mentor, but you didn't. You basically failed at that, and you did not complete your task, or you didn't want to be their mentor, or what have you, what have you. For one. For one, you were supposed to have a mentor and they failed at their task and they did not complete their task and they basically failed you. So however you plug into that situation, Pisces, um, some kind of failing mentor energy, whether you were the failed mentor or somebody was a failed mentor to you. You have to plug yourself into your own situation, how you resonate, okay? But somehow that's supposed to, uh, that's about to become significant in your life, whether you were the failed mentor or somebody failed you as a mentor, okay? Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. A Pisces is about to get an award. 
for honor on the side of the road, about to save somebody's life. A hero. Oh my God, I heard a Pisces is about to get an award, uh, about to save somebody's life on the side of the road. Um, you're about to be a hero. So you're about to be successful uh, saving this person's life on the side of the road. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Wow, that's beautiful. Um, I feel I feel you might be a civilian. Like, um, or you, for some, you could be uh, officers of the law or you could be um, EMS, possibly. Um, but for some, I feel you're just concerned citizens that have pulled over or about to pull over. at something to do on the side of the road say about saving somebody's life. Um, I heard you're going to get an award for this. So um, I don't know if it's just like a five, you know, somebody saying, oh, good job, buddy. Or you're actually going to get awarded for um, like a, an official award uh, for saving somebody's life. However, that resonates. But it's going to be very successful saving this person's life. Um, you're actually going to save a life. I heard you're going to be a hero. So congrats to you, sir or ma'am. I don't know if you're a man or a woman. Only you know if this is going to plug into your life or not. That's beautiful. A road trip is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. Okay, a road trip is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. Wow, congrats to whoever that's for. And surprise legal issues for one Pisces. They're not expecting these, but they're coming. And surprise legal issues for one Pisces. They're not expecting these, but they're coming. So some kind of surprise legal issues. Um, you're not expecting these surprise legal issues. I'm presuming you're not going to want them. Um, I heard they're coming, whether you think they are or not. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Pisces. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. That could be the saving the person's life, possibly. A manager, Pisces manager at a five-star hotel is about to get very positively recognized. Oh, that's beautiful. I heard a manager at a five-star hotel, Pisces manager, is about to get very positively recognized. So you're a manager at a five-star hotel, Pisces, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, you're about to get very positively recognized. I think you're going to get a reward or an award or uh, I think your hotel is about to rate very highly sir ma'am and you're about to get rewarded for it i think you might get a bonus um maybe you get a bonus in your company um or a physical award um you are a manager at a five-star hotel if that resonates for you you're on the road to success i think you treat your customers respectfully and nicely and appropriately and i think you um provide excellent customer service and a very positive a very positive influence to your um, staff, hotel staff, and I think you motivate them in very positive ways, and um, I think you do good by your employees, um, and you're about to get, and I think it shows in your hotel. That's really beautiful, sir, ma'am, if that resonates for you. Vote, money, or property through an inheritance winning or windfall. Our property is about to come to a Pisces through an inheritance. For one, they never thought it would, and it's coming. Okay, I heard our property is about to come to an, a, a Pisces through an inheritance. They never thought it was coming, but it's coming. So some kind of property, uh, you never thought it was coming, um, and it's through some kind of inheritance, Pisces. But I heard it's coming, uh, whether you think it is or not. So um, whoever that's for and how that applies. And when Pisces has stolen inheritance, and it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. And when Pisces has stolen inheritance, and it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. So one of you guys has one of you guys is about to get property 
You never thought it was coming through an inheritance. It's about to come. Congratulations, sir, ma'am. I'm presuming you're high vibrational, and congrats to you. And one, you're low vibrational, and you stole inheritance, and that's about to backfire on you. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you, Pisces. Drug smuggling in a hospital is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. A lot of police are about to show up very, very, very soon. Know this. Oh, my God. Drug diversion. Drug smuggling and drug diversion is about to become very significant in a particular Pisces life. I heard a lot, a lot, a lot of police are about to show up soon, unexpectedly. So, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Uh, somebody works in a hospital, I'll tell you that. Now, you could be on the positive spectrum of this or the negative spectrum. Um, are you reporting the drug diverter, drug diverter and the um, drug smuggling? Or are you the drug diverter and the drug smuggler? You have to plug yourself in where you fit, Pisces. Somebody is a drug diverter and a drug smuggler up in here. And I, I strongly feel it's a, a Pisces. And if you're the low vibrational one about to get caught, just know there's about to be a lot of police swarming around you. It sounds like at the hospital. Um, and it sounds like that's where you work. Now, I don't know what position you are. You could be the janitor. You could be an LPN, a RN, a nurse practitioner, um, a, a nurse anesthesiologist. You could be a doctor for all I know. I don't know. But somehow, somebody's a drug diverter and a drug smuggler in a hospital. For one of you guys, you could be reporting this if you work in the hospital. I don't know, but somehow I heard a lot of police are about to come very soon with this situation. I think they're on it. Um, I think they've been investigating this, or they're about to, and they're about to come in. If that resonates for you, low vibrational Pisces, uh, for one. Now, hopefully, there's a high vibrational Pisces about to report this shit, or somebody else high vibrational about to report it. You plug it in, how it resonates. Very low hospital ratings are about to become very significant in Pisces life. Very low ratings are about to become very significant in Pisces' life. Um, very low hospital ratings. Very low hospital ratings is what I heard. So very low hospital ratings are about to become very significant in a, hospital, uh, in a Pisces' life. So low hospital ratings. So I'm assuming that uh, maybe a lot of complaints, not very many compliments, um, low, uh, low ratings in some shape, form, or fashion, uh, some kind of rating where the ratings are low regarding a hospital. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. But somehow it's about to become very significant in one of you guys' life. Now, I think for some, that's going to cause you to make changes in your life. I feel for some, you work at this hospital. And I'm just being for real. There's a reason I'm pulling this in. So I think for some, you work at this hospital. But only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? A Taurus is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. And money laundering. A Taurus is about to become very significant in a Pisces life. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. And so is money laundering. So uh, only you know if you've been connected in money laundering or not. For some, you could be reporting money laundering. But somehow money laundering is... Uh, connected to at least one Pisces, either in a positive or negative way. For some, I feel you keep reporting money laundering. Uh, for some, you could be the money launderer. Only you know uh, your situation, not anybody else. Um, and a Taurus. Uh, they got Taurus in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Men, Haven, Jupiter chart. Some of, this some of these Taurus are going to be uh, a positive in your life. Some are going to be negative. So you have to plug in your own particular life and situation, how it resonates. Love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Let me see if I hear anything else.
Jim, Jamie, Casey, Amanda. Jim, Jamie, Casey, Amanda. Jim, Jamie, Casey, Amanda is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Jackie. Jackie. Okay. And Jackie. Okay. That's all I heard. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Um, and I'm going to say.